100% crew. Okay, he must be reloaded right now. Put one more shot into him thinking. No, he might be reloaded. Oh! My god, that was close. <laughs> what a dodge by me. Greetings guys, this is Tokraft, and today we've got another World of Tanks replay, played by me. And today we've got a very unusual tank, a tier 4 Japanese medium tank, the Chi He, or however you pronounce it. Guys, I um, played this game on the same day as the Centurion Action Tank carry game that I showed you guys yesterday. But uh, what I wanted to show you is this tank, because I was uh, playing World of Tanks, and I was really hungry to find some new tanks to play. So I thought, why not start the Japanese medium tank line? And uh, I free XP'd myself up to the tier 4 because, yeah, well, this tank looked pretty alright. I looked at the statistics and then realized that this was a very, very good tank. Of course, as it is a medium tank, it doesn't have much armor. But that's not the speciality of this tank. This tank um, also doesn't have the best mobility of a medium tank. But for a tier 4, it's pretty alright. No, the thing that is really special about this tank is its gun. As we can see, I can penetrate an OI experimental with my standard rounds. I've switched to premium rounds. But let me first introduce you to the rounds of this tank. Okay, my control key doesn't really work. Well, that doesn't matter. This tank gets a base penetration of 87 or 80, something like that, which is really good for a tier 4 tank. And it gets, uh, I think, an alpha damage of 75 or something like that, which is also pretty alright. Um, the premium mounts are very good on this tank, 122mm of penetration with the same alpha damage of 75 I think. As you can see I've used the, I'm using the premium mounts right now to engage this Wolverine at range. But of course this is not needed at uh, the side of a Wolverine so I switch back to my normal rounds. I do have to load APCR of AP, premium AP for the KV-1S, put one into the KV-1S. And as you can see, we're on map Ansk, which is a very small map, which is good for this tank. I don't have to drive that much. And as you can see, we're also a bottom tier tank. There are KV-2s on the enemy team. There's a Hellcat on the enemy team, an M44. Luckily, there aren't that many tier 6 tanks, but this is still a bottom tier matchup for me. As you can see, there are some really good players on the enemy team. Some green uh, tier 5 and 4 players, so we're going to have to watch out for those. And of course, KV-2s aren't... Uh, very friendly to me either. As you can see they're on the other side of the, the map. They've pretty much, <coughs> excuse me, conquered the whole other map. The whole other side of the map I mean. So that's why we need to hurry up and try to take down this flank. Of course I can use my normal ammunition for this T28. Who doesn't have a lot of armor, luckily. But I do need premium for the side of this KV-1S. It sounds like I track him there. But as I switch to my premium ammunition, I can't hit the KV-1S anymore. And luckily, he gets taken down. So, we have already done 900 damage, which is a really good result for a tier 4 tank. So, as we can see, uh, we've broken through this flank. And the KV-2s and the KV-1 on the enemy team have broken through the other. So, what I want to do now is see what they are doing. As you can see, my team is going around this way. And it looks like all of the enemy tanks are also going towards the cap. So, that gives me a perfect opportunity to flank tier 6 and 5 tanks so that is exactly what I'm going to do of course I'm going to load some APCR ammunition because I can't guarantee to penetrate uh, an ass even of a KV-2 with this uh, low caliber gun I am going to load premium as I said but well I'm a bottom tier tank you can't really blame me for loading um, premium ammunition here so as we can see the KV-2 is pointing his ass towards me He's unspotted, thinking that he might cross here through this opening. He fires so that I know I've got at least 20 seconds to unload him to this guy. And as this tank loads in 2.6 seconds with a 75% crew, that gives me the perfect opportunity to, as you can see, just to load him to this guy. So, as I said, I'm playing this tank with a 75% crew. Okay, he must be reloaded right now. Put one more shot into him, thinking, no, he might be reloaded. Oh! My god, that was close! <laughs> what a dodge by me. Taking down this KV-2 here, he can't do anything about it anymore. He's just giving up as you can see. As you can see, that is the first KV-2 kill for me. 1400 damage for a tier 4 tank, which is amazingly good. Other KV-2 with his ass pointing toward me, this is just heaven for this tank. 
as you can see. You can put shot after shot into this guy, which is just amazing. One shot. Oh, that's the third one. And after the fourth one, the KV-2 manages to go around the corner. And as you can hear, the capture siren is going off, so that means that the enemy KV-1 must have gone into the cap circle. He gets spotted to come after me because he is, of course, reading his map. Luckily, he doesn't fire at me, but at the tier 5 or 6 tank behind me. I put a shot into him. It doesn't penetrate, and unfortunately, he takes down the KV-1. I actually should have taken the shot there for that VK. But it doesn't really matter. I put two shots into the side of the KV-1. I track him, and as you can see, he unfortunately repairs. And my team managed to take down this KV-1. And what a game for a tier 4 Japanese medium tank. Look at this guys. 1,866 damage done. That is ridiculously good. Even with that much premium ammunition fired. This tank is just amazing. And I highly recommend to pick up this tank for yourself. Always try to get hold down positions. Because as I forgot to mention. I think I didn't mention this. This tank also gets 10 degrees of gun depression. Just no words. This tank is amazingly good, even for beginning players. Always try to find a hold down location, or if you are in a bottom tier matchup like this, always try to find some locations where you can support your allies from. That's pretty much everything said about this tank. Let's take a look at the statistics of this game, guys. Okay, guys, unsurprisingly, an ace tanker badge, a crap load of tokens. That metal for killing at least. Two tanks that are two tiers higher than you. Unconfederate and a high caliber in a bottom tier game. And now the most ridiculous thing. The 1866 damage that we done this game. With a whopping 1100 base experience points. So guys that's pretty much the video. I hope you like this video. I do want to add that for a long time there hasn't been a subscriber replays episode on my channel. So I would totally recommend you guys send in some replays of yours doesn't have to be anything extraordinary watch back an old episode of subscriber replays to find out how exactly you need to send those replays in but for now i hope you like this video please leave a like as i put a lot of time into making this video as usual and subscribe if you haven't already bye guys Invincible.